Yo, what's up everyone, Sanjo Uchi here and welcome back to the channel where today we'll be reacting to Torah of God episode 3. Of course, I'll be reacting to and do my review in this same video. So more than likely by the time I'm finished editing, I'll probably limit the reaction to the first 5 minutes of this video. So yeah, so for the rest of the time, of course, I'll be reviewing, talking about it, just discuss my thoughts on the episode. But anyway, of course, if you like the reaction or let me know what you think about the video at the end of the day. But yeah, let's get right into it. And of course, um, for you know, to hopefully avoid copyright, I'll be including my channel banner as a little filter over the actual footage. So, yeah. Alright, some you know some backstory regarding Aguero. Well Kuna. <laughs> that rock just said did over here is a brito. つまりだ。あのセラトに<笑><笑> <laughs> nah, what is Rock doing then? <laughs> Stupid. Well, shit. <laughs> インスティンクト。もう。だから勝手に進歩心感じてるのは僕も。お前見てると頑張れるっつうかさ。ボイ、ウェムフィライキンガンデッド。しらいしらい。どうぞ、うん。うん。Shit. Hmm. <laughs> Jugglements. Ridiculous. And there we go, Rakel. Mm. 
All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the live reaction segment of this video. Welcome to the review segment. Of course, hopefully this video hasn't gotten like a copyright claim. Hopefully the little filter I had my channel banner helped. But anyway, getting into it, episode three. Definitely another solid entry if I do say so myself. Actually love the episode. It had a lot of things going on, but it really helped to continue moment the momentum that episode two helped to establish up from episode one. Um I think one of the biggest things coming out of this episode that I could definitely say is that hesitation leads to disaster. <laughs> um, wow, definitely, definitely. You know, episodes one and two, even though I will admit they were kind of vague in a sense, but they gave you enough information to work with to get invested in the story and to see where it's going. And I think episode three really helped to continue that trend as you know for episodes one and two it did a good job of introducing us to our to the world in terms of the information that we need to know right now from the eyes of bam but episode three kind of slowly starts introducing us to you know ways and means for the writer or writers to get us invested in the side cast specifically kun this was a very kun centric episode if i do say so myself this episode focuses on two tests specifically. One where the crews, the different teams, they have to get through a test where they have to choose the right door to proceed to the next test. And a second test where it's not mandatory to for the teams to take, but it, if they pass it, they basically pass all other tests and are allowed to essentially climb the tower. So there's that. But getting right into it, the first section of this episode, as you saw from the reaction, very concentric. We got the test where the teams had to select the door. Now, we get a lot of, well, a decent amount of flashbacks and hints dropped regarding Kun, Aguero, Agnes, which is a pretty cool name. Definitely loving the character so far. Now, what I love about this is that this episode, through the flashback and through the dialogue that's been, you know, stated at the same time <laughs> while they're trying to figure out the test, it kind of gives us a clear idea or a better idea of Kun's character that he has a lot of trauma that he's dealing with, which is pretty good. It has been really interesting to see where the character is going to go. But it also, you know, validates how Kun has been acting up to this point, especially statements that he's made, like in episodes one or two, um, during those episodes, during the first test that we saw, where the aim was to eliminate 200 persons, he expressed like this this tears of persons just going along with the rules of the administration of the tower like that and i think this episode kind of helps to you know it allows us to see why he thought along that that train of thoughts essentially why he would feel that way against the administration of you know or basically why he would be against persons being controlled by the administration he suffered a great loss um in his past and he no longer basically trusts anything or, or the very at the very least if he's going along with something he has to have complete certainty so he's going to he's prone to hesitate before making decisions or at least he wants a hundred percent of the the details and facts before he goes along with making a decision essentially so i think it was a nice creative way of kind of diving into his character without giving us a bunch of like exposition or you know character just speaking it out it was good um we did get exposition but at least it was put into practice with the test as well so that's what this episode definitely excels at i'm more interested in kun that is the good thing about this episode um and I like that he's not afraid to like take action like that scene where <laughs> like he was about to cut the throat of the the balloon guy that was giving them like you know information or hints regarding the test so that was cool as well um but I think the next thing you can really take from this episode is that and I think it is a foreshadowing of what's to come for Bam as a main character is that Kun had a girl in his life a half sister Maria um and apparently he helped her become a princess of jihad but his side of the family was exiled as a result or at least after that so it kind of gives the impression that you know maria just used quinn to get to that position of power and 
in some shape or form, it kind of seems like they're starting to draw parallels between Kun and Bam. It's like this happened to Kun, and now because of what happens to him, and the fact that we have Bam going after this girl as well, who Kun also suspects has been doing like the whole idea that Rachel or Raquel um, kind of sheltered Bam for the time that she did, even though she wanted to see the tower and she went to the tower without him. She's spam well, Kun finds it weird. So I think they're slowly but surely foreshadowing the fact that, you know, Raquel won't be the same person that Bam knew or grew up with essentially. Which has been basically been foreshadowed from episode one. And if nothing else, Raquel is in this episode <laughs> as well. I mean it's pretty obvious that it's her. Unless they're gonna like reveal it to be somebody else that looks like her. But whatever the case maybe she's in this episode as well in the second half where we have the second test um so yeah so eventually they get past the first test as you saw and the second half i'd say definitely allows us to have more time with a supporting cast uh, we get the name of the that one other character in the track so shibusu definitely a charming character i wonder if they're foreshadowing him dying <laughs> honestly by him getting so close to bam <laughs> never know um, no spoilers for those who read the webtoon. Um, what else can I say about this episode? I definitely love the action pieces, the action that we got towards the end of the episode with, you know, Hanats and um, the other team that was participating in the, you know, the bonus test. That was definitely cool to see. But considering that we have the, the wild card in this episode, which appears to be Raquel and her team, who eliminated, like... A bunch of regulars in the tower in like a exam that they had in another section I'm wondering what's going to happen now because this is definitely building the mystery and suspense for the episodes to come so yeah definitely loved it so all in all definitely loved episode 3 it really got me more invested emotionally in seeing where Kun as a character is coming from and where he's going to go they definitely start drawing parallels between Kun and Bam so if you're not really invested in Bam they're definitely setting up a dynamic between you know Kun who has experienced something similar with a girl before and Kun trying to probably protect and you know prevent Bam from going through the same thing that's what it seems like they're setting up for me there are for us there in the episode and of course the whole theme hesitation leads to disaster that's pretty cool as well um, wild card Raquel so <sighs> I love it they're wasting no time in getting us into the you know the meat of the matter regarding this story so definitely looking forward to episode 4 and seeing where this is going to go of course let me know what you thought about this review and my thoughts on the episode um, Tower of God mm, definitely good but anyway Sandra here be sure to rate hit the like button subscribe join to a thousand subs Definitely appreciate all the support and I'll see you guys in the next one.